take the red pill, you stay in Wonderland, and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. The pill you took is part of a trace program. It's designed to disrupt your input-output carrier signal so we can pinpoint your location. Hi everybody, so today we're gonna program the red pill from the movie Matrix. So as we know, the red pill is used to uh, to free Neo in the, in the real world so Morpheus can uh, find him. So pretty much, as Morpheus says, uh, finds a pinpoint to, the, to Neo's location and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And that's what we're going to develop today just for fun using C Sharp, uh, .NET. So let's get to it. All right, so what I'm doing right now, I'm just creating the classes inside of my .NET solution, uh, create a test uh, solution, so I can run some unit tests. Um, I'm implementing here the TDD approach. I'm gonna, we're gonna code the test first, and then we're gonna code the class. So I created a, also a library project, which is using .NET standard. And um, yeah, uh, what else? Uh, now I'm going to, I'm renaming the class, uh, the testing class. Uh, I'm gonna use the test map to class and I'm not gonna change the name, that's not important right now. So I'm creating an object called Neo, which is implementation of Neo. I don't know the data type yet. Uh, again, I'm implementing TDD here. I don't have to know at this moment. But I know I'm gonna have a red pill object which implements the iRedPill interface. And they're gonna they go both gonna interact somehow. I don't know yet how. So I decide now I'm gonna have the A matrix A matrix I matrix human, which is pretty much um uh, uh implements you know is used to identify the a, a matrix human in this case neo's implementation of that uh and he is assuming that neo is still thomas anderson right uh human inside the matrix so we're gonna release that we're gonna get his location and later on maybe another video we're gonna implement the the free neo from the real from matrix to the real world uh, so I decided that Neo is going to have a swallow method, the I matrix human is going to have a swallow method. And the reasoning behind that is because, you know, uh, any human swallows something, either food or medicine or, or whatever. So that's the reasoning behind the matrix to implement that. So right now I'm just uh, uh, impersonating the matrix here in the implementation. I'm assuming I'm creating the matrix. So humans swallow and uh, they swallow something in this case uh, i write pill interface and but i know I later on i do, do some code review right now the approach was i was assuming that the swallow method would return i crop location a crop location is nothing more than a three-dimensional location of the human inside the crop uh so at three-dimensional three location as we know in, in our world or the matrix it represents can represents any object in any space so that's what we are going for with uh here and right now, and right after I'm just uh, asserting the unit test, if it's true, if uh, I know the exact location from Neo, which is, I'm just choosing some arbitrary numbers here, uh, X10, Y11, uh, and uh, Z12. So if that's true, so the test passes. Very simple test, uh, yeah. So, but you know, that's the beautiful thing about TDD approach, which is, as you write the code using the, the consumer code before even writing the implementation, you already see something that doesn't make sense, you know, and so you get a chance to do that in the unit test. You don't even have to bother about fixing the implementation. That's why I love TDD so much. So I'm creating the face I matrix human and right now I'm just going with the implementation itself. Right now I'm doing everything in the same file, but the, the goal here is to move to the, the library, of course. Uh, we can't distract that for now. So we're creating a vector class which will contain all the vectors. Um, we will we, contain the one three-dimensional vector, which is X, Y, Z. I choose a double for that. And uh, it's always better to encapsulate that inside a vector. And what else? Yeah, here I'm testing the unit test and definitely gonna this is gonna fail because there's nothing implemented yet, right? It throws a non non-implemented exception, which is not not that unexpected. Uh so and now is the point I realized, you know, wait a minute, I think this is wrong. I should tweak this a little bit uh to the you know usable. 
So what I did here is let's remember, okay, Neo, when I implement the A matrix human directly, and I realize that uh, Neo shouldn't implement the swallow. Actually, the, I should create an abstract class called matrix human, and that class would implement the swallow because any human, any human inside the matrix will, ha will, will have the swallow method and you will implement that matrix human abstract class. So that's just logical. And I'm glad that caught that doing the, the unit test. Um, all right, so here just an example. I tried to show an example that other humans uh, can implement also matrix human abstract class. In this case, it starts with Trinity, but it doesn't make sense because she's already free. So I choose Mio Boss, which is the computer software company boss, the one that like uh, yells at him <laughs> in the beginning of the movie. So he's still uh, a human inside the matrix, unaware of the matrix. So that's what I try to show you. All right. So what else? So now we can implement the swallow method. We can get rid of the not implemented exception. Let's see what we're gonna do. So yeah, I realized that the iron pill should be red pill. I should have a. <clears throat> uh, it should be a matrix related, uh, swallowable interface, right? Because the matrix created the swallow. So yeah, I created the interface I swallowable, which is anything that's swallowable and that includes food, pills, whatever, right? Candy, anything that's swallowable, which means putting your mouth goes through your throat, your stomach in the matrix. So I read Peel now implements uh, uh, inherits from I swallowable, and what we're going to do is uh, we're going to have read Peel object that will implement I read Peel. So I change the I matrix interface to you know the swallow parameter swallow method to implement to have the I swallowable parameter inside I read Peel. So we don't want to do that anymore. I hope that's clear why I did that. And now we are going to, yeah, I realized that, you know what? Uh, it doesn't make sense that to return an I crop location, you're gonna be a void now because there's so many stuff that can happen to swallow. And uh, in this case, I'm just calling this specific method. Uh, you know, there are tons of stuff that the matrix would do when you swallow something, right? It might, for example, uh, uh, trigger another programs like uh, uh, nutrition programs, like, uh, uh, um, here with micronutrients like carbs, protein, fat, and micronutrients like vitamins, uh, minerals, or whatever, like, or even to the organic, uh, to molecular level, like how, how much of, um, you know, uh, oxygen you got, uh, uh, sugar, whatever, right? When that thing that you are swallowing. So, of course, we're not going to implement that, but I'm just going to assume that the matrix would do that. And the thing here is, regardless of what the matrix does with the swallowable, uh, with the swallow method, uh, what matters for us is that we created free people, uh, we created the red pill program. And the red pill program is we do is, it will wrap itself as, as uh, I swallowable, but at, what's gonna happen is you're gonna throw an exception. And so inside the, this method that does a bunch of stuff for the matrix, you throw an exception and that exception happens that we return a crop location with new uh, coordinates. So that's what we want to do. Of course, there are, maybe there are different ways of implementing the same approach, uh, but no, this uh, approach that uh, I'm assuming more frills in his team of hackers would choose to write this red pill software. So that's what I'm doing here. I create, I just, I just attribute levels. And now in the red pill implementation, uh, as I said, so yeah, uh, implementing in the red pill, I'm implementing the adjust attribute, attribute, attribute levels because, you know, uh, as a swallowable, uh, everything calls this, this method because it implements the I swallowable interface. So I'm implementing now the swallowable method. So yeah, so as I said, I'm going to throw an exception uh, in the red pill uh, implementation. And uh, actually, I'm going to create a red pill exception, uh, uh, which is a class uh, extending exception class from .NET. 
In that class, I'm going to change the constructor as well. I'm not too worried about the message error right now because again, it's, we are hacking, right? This red pill is a hacking program. So uh, what I'm going to do is the interface, the, the, the constructor of the red pill exception will instantiate a location, which is a iCrop location uh, object. And that will uh, contain the, will hold the vector coordinates. That exceptional object will be used uh, in our red pill class. So I decided not to use a vector as a parameter. So because you must assume, I don't know, it doesn't really matter. Now implementing the exception itself, uh, I mean the unit test. I'm passing the correct uh, coordinates to the assert test. I'm building to see if everything is working fine. Now I'm going to run the unit test to see if it's green, to see if it works. And it still fails. Let's, let's see why. Of course, because we didn't initiate the location object, it's a new reference right now. So I'm going to instantiate the location in the constructor, the red pill exception constructor. Associates the object and then assigns the coordinates to the vector object inside of it. And of course, I missed the crop location itself, the implementation. I just have the interface for now. So I need to create the concrete class implementing that. And that should work fine. It builds, compiles, just great. Let's run and hoping it works. And there you go. The task is green. The task passed. Test. And what that means is our unit test was able to instantiate a new object, a red pill object, and was able to call the swallow uh, method from Neo, which is a, a matrix human uh, implementation. And because the red pill is a hacking program uh, created by Morpheus or people, hackers from Zion, and if, what it does is forces an exception, which with the coordinates of the human inside the crop, you know, the crop fields in the real world. So after that, they were able to, you know, uh, to find Neo, disconnect him from the matrix, and they get his him from the from the uh, the pit. That's it. Uh, now I'm debugging to see what's going on. Uh, so I can see we can see the the watch. Uh, what's going on? We see Neo, uh, we see the red pill object, and we're gonna tap over tapping the swallow. We see it calls the adjust attributes, adjust attribute levels, and then because it's implementation red pill, it was an exception with the Neo's coordinate, and it goes to our. our our assert is true on the unit test class and returns green. We have the location that we are expecting. This is unit test, so yeah. And the real location in the real program, I mean, outside the unit test, what, what you want to do is with the news coordinate, you're probably going to call another libraries, which is responsible to disconnect Neo, send signal to disconnect, which itself is another hacking program. And then having more fields get him, and we, you know, we can build up. We have infinite, infinite uh, uh, possibilities to have fun with coding based on matrix film, uh, matrix movie. That's it. I hope you liked it. And um, if you want to see more of those, uh, at some point I'm going to implement the Smith uh, program, and that's going to be really fun because we're going to use a lot of. Uh, uh, reflection, you know, to hack other binaries, uh, matrix binaries. So it's going to be really, really fun. If you want to see more, just subscribe. And if you can, if you wish, uh, like this video, it would be a help, you know, so we can continue doing stuff like that. Thank you very much. Have a good one.